Today in our daily walk through the psalm, we are in Psalm 119, 129 through 136, where we begin reading verse 129, your testimonies are wonderful, <laughs> therefore does my soul keep them. Wonderful. Uh, it's, a, it's a word that describes amazement, that fills our heart, that's overwhelming, blows us away. And certainly as we study the word of God, as we seek the Lord prayerfully, he reveals things to us that just are mind-blowing in his word each and every day. What an amazing adventure that we get with God's word. And he says, so blows me away that my soul, my emotions, my desire, my passion is to keep them. And isn't that true? We, we, God shows us a, a, an amazing uh, facet to his word, something new, and, and we just want to write it down. We want to put it in the margin of our Bible. We just don't want to forget it. We don't want to let it go. I just love God's word for that reason. It's just so much. There's more. It's a lifetime of study, a lifetime of research, meditation, and we grow from it. Uh, may that be our master passion today. Um, if you've discover that your heart has maybe gotten a little cold or moved away from the, that of the word of God and, and your desire and your excitement over God's word, then just cry out to the Lord right now and just say, Lord, cut away the chaff on my heart and, and, and help me to have a greater desire, a passion for your word, for it is indeed wonderful. Well, verse 130 says, the entrance of your words give light. It gives understanding to the simple. And this is one of the beautiful things about God's word. Whatever level of understanding, however uh, new you might be in the Lord or old you might be in the Lord, it just is simple. It's simple to the, to, to the simple, to the child. Jesus said, let the little children come unto me. Don't stop them for such is the kingdom of God. Um, heaven belongs to those the understanding of, of the heavenly or the spiritual realm, biblical realm, belongs to those that are childlike of heart. Uh, don't be too complex. Um, but just simple-hearted towards the Lord. Uh, you know, Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest for your souls. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly of heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. We get so wigged out over many things. We make things more complex than they, than they need to be. And uh, I'm always reminded that just, you know, it really boils down to this, a simple relationship with our Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ. He said, just learn of me, hang out with me, walk with me. That's as simple as it is. And, and when we're studying or reading the Word of God, just pray and ask the Lord, ask Jesus to help you um, make the application or the understanding. And, he, and he'll do that. Uh, take my yoke upon you, learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And, and then verse 131 says, I open my mouth and panted for a long for your commandments. You know, as we, as we understand how simple the word of God is, as we, as we come to that amazement in our hearts and our passions about the word of God, uh, we, we, we long for them more and more. The more you read, the more you want to read. The more you, you know, spend time with the Lord, the more you're going to want to spend time with the Lord. And that's just true with, with, with everything, but certainly is true with the living God and, and his living word. And verse 132 says, Look upon me and be merciful to me as you used to do to, unto those that love your name. You know, come near unto me, Lord. Uh, I need you. I'm desperate for you. I, 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 I long for you. So look upon me, Lord, and, and, and just be watchful of my life, Lord. Help me, you know. And just a desperation uh, for the Lord and, and, a, and a realization that without him, we can really do nothing. Order my steps. Order my steps in your word, verse 133. Let not any iniquity have dominion over me. The idea is knowing God's word, the amazing thing about God's word, the delight of God's word, and then in light of that, looking at our own 
frail structure. <laughs> I mean, we're nothing but dust, if you, if you, according to the word of God. And, and man, Lord, order my steps. Rule me or overrule me, Lord. We come to that realization where we realize, I don't want to call the shots of my life any longer, Lord. And, and I, I still continue to do that. But Lord, you order my steps. Order them in your word. So, so what I do, and, and we know, and we're, we're delighted into knowing that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. The word of God just is, is so illuminating. Uh, I was thinking about this, um, the idea of the word of light, word of God gives light, verse 130. It's like, man, you're in a, you're out in the woods and it's pitch dark. You can't even see your hand in front of your face and you're going through a path and it's like turning on a flashlight and being able to see your way uh, through the darkness. And that's what we're in a, a dark world, a world of ambiguity, a, a world of complexity. And yet God makes it simple for the simple. Those that simply want God and want his word, want truth, want authenticity, and what's right, and what's holy, what's good. You know, it's that simple. Um, that's all we really need. We don't need all the things that we think we need or the, the things that, you know, we see in advertising, which they spend billions of dollars in advertising to, to make you think that you need to be happy. No, our happiness <laughs> is in the Lord and is in his word. So order my steps and let not iniquity have dominion over me, Lord. You guide me, you know, um, You'll, you'll guide me in the right path. I trust you in that. Deliver me, verse 134, from the oppression of men, so I will keep your precepts. You know, you protect me from, from the oppression of men, the, the things that people want to throw upon me. Uh, again, we mentioned uh, advertising and, and, and whatever it is. I don't want to be conformed to this world. We want to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans uh, 12, uh, 2 tells us. And so... Make your face to shine upon me, One verse 135, your servant, and teach me your statutes. The idea of making your face to shine upon me is, I want your loving presence. I want to be aware of it. Now, we, we know we have his loving presence all the time, according to his word. But I want, I want to experience that. I want to be aware of that. Make me aware of that, Lord. Uh, make your face to shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes your word and help me to grow in the knowledge of you lord is the idea and then verse 136 the rivers of water run down my eyes because they keep not your law and, and you know what here, here it is so much we realize the value the blessing the beauty of the word of god his testimonies again are wonderful they're they're mind-blowing <laughs> they're amazing so much we realize the immense value of God's word, our heart weeps for those that are around us that are that are refuse God's word or refuse the Lord. So so unwilling to to submit, so unwilling. It's like they they got to hold on. It's like they got such a controlling uh, uh, nature that they have to hold on, thinking they're going to lose something. The fact of the matter is, if you let it go for the Lord. You gain so much more, you know. They that want, you know, that 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 hold on to their life will lose this life. But they that let go of their life, give up their life, surrender their life for my name's sake, Jesus said, unto you you'll have everlasting life. It's so amazing, and we need that reminder. You know, many of us that have walked with the Lord a long time, we need to be reminded of that because we get caught up in the complexities of life and, and all the things that are going on, all the things that we have to do. And so beautiful to come back to that simple place in, in life where we realize that, that God's word sheds light onto our path and, hit, and, and gives understanding to simple, the simple thinking mind. And... Just get back to the basics. Get back to the simplicities and take the Lord's yoke upon you and learn of him today in Jesus' name. God bless you.